do you have resin kits still in the box on the shelf because you're scared to paint them? Are you afraid of fish eyes? Separation. Bad adhesion. Then stay tuned because today I'm showing how I've been cleaning resin for years with great success. To grow your know-how and build your confidence to get your resin painted and be competing at this year's model car shows. Hey everyone, we're going to be doing some scrubbing. So I am wearing safety glasses, gloves, and a long sleeve shirt and you're going to want to do the same as this does splatter a bit. This is a Deco Carco resin and where we're picking up on it is the little bit of flashing that was on it has been removed. To start things off, do you see how when I first hit this with water, it's beating up on the body right now? Remember this, because it's an important part. The first cleaner I'm going to be using is Cascade. Yours probably looks blue, mine looks green because it's old, but it works fine for what we're using it for. I'm using a toothbrush to spread the cascade over the entire body, top side and underside. I'm not really focused on scrubbing right now, I'm just trying to get everything coated. Then I leave it sit for 5 minutes to start breaking down the contamination. After it has sat, I will start rinsing and scrubbing all the cascade off. My girlfriend was nice enough to let me use her toothbrush for this demo. I'm just kidding, I don't have a girlfriend. The toothbrush I'm using has medium strength bristles and I picked it up at the local generally more than a dollar, but you can pick them up anywhere. After I have completely rinsed off all of the cascade, I get out my next secret cleaner, which is Comet. I'm also using a bigger brush called the vegetable brush and I got it from the dollar 25 tree back when it was still the dollar tree. I'm sure you can pick them up at plenty of other locations, but I do prefer the larger brush for this part because it covers more surface area faster, which speeds the whole process up. I'm going to fast forward through a lot of this, but it's just a lot of elbow grease putting in the time and scouring the entire body down. The Comet has a little grit with it, so it really works good as a cleaner. For any auto body guys out there, it's kind of like using blend prep. Now, the reason we have to clean resin is because the resin casters have to use a mold release. It helps to release the castings from the mold to try and extend the mold life, which is still extremely short. Either way, primer and paint do not like mold release, so we need to get it all off. I have heard many different ways of people trying to achieve this, and if you have a method that has been working for you, great. Keep on using it, but for everybody else, that's why I'm showing you today how I do it. I was going to visually skip over some of this, just show you a couple clips and describe to you that I'm doing a lot of scrubbing, 
But for maximum impact and for you to have greatest understanding, I decided to just fast forward to make sure you're getting the complete picture of this process and know how much scrubbing is involved. Okay guys, do you see already? After that scrubbing, how the water is starting to react differently with the body. Do you see how the water is starting to sheet on the body versus beat up and roll off? But we're not done yet. Let's keep on going. I was using the big brush before and now I'm going back to the toothbrush to get into all the fine little areas and I'm going to go over the whole body again with the toothbrush this time. I'm scrubbing resin, I'm scrubbing resin, I'm showing everybody how I'm scrubbing resin. Pay close attention to how the water is reacting to the body. It's sheeting on the entire body, no beating up, like a beautiful layer of clear coat. And this is exactly what you're looking for. This is what you need. This is your indicator that it's ready for primer. I'm going to go around in any place I see the water separating a little bit faster than the rest of the body. I'm going to hit that again, scrub that down one more time to make sure everything is clean and ready to go. Let's do a comparison of before and after. After that, I blow them off with the air holes and put them on the stand. If you want to, you can just put them on the stand or whatever you use and let them air dry. When they're dry, it's going to dry with a real flat look. There's going to be no shine to it at all, and it's ready for primer. My first coat of primer will be just a dusting. After that, I'll do two more regular coats. Well, that's all I have for you guys today. I hope this was informative. Let me know in the comments if it boosted your confidence and you're getting your resin out. Thanks again for watching my videos. I really appreciate it. Until next time.